Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dikano demands 25 billion naira from Buari government as court fixes date for hearings. Unam Dikano demands 25 billion naira from Buari government as court fixes date for hearings. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Unamdekano has demanded the sum of 25 billion naira from the Nigerian government. Kano made the demand as compensation for the physical, mental, emotional, psychological, property and other damages suffered due to the infringement of his fundamental right. The IPOB leader made the demand, among others, concerning his arrest and extraordinary rendition from Kenya in 2021. Recall that Kano was rearrested in Kenya and repatriated to Nigeria last year. Amid the controversies surrounding Kano's rearrest in Kenya, the Nigerian government had denied involvement in the operation. Despite the denial, Kano's legal team dragged the Nigerian government to court over how the IPOB leader was picked in Kenya. However, the Federal High Court sitting in Umaya, Abia State, had fixed October 1st. 2022 for the hearing of Kano's extraordinary rendition suit. A statement signed by special counsel Aloy Ejimako Reed on 4th October 2022. The Federal High Court Umaya will hear Mazi Unamdi Kano's extraordinary rendition, rendition suit, which had filed before the court in March this year. The suit is sui generis of a special class and it is primarily aimed at redressing the infamous unlawful expulsion or extraordinary rendition of Unam de Kano, which is a which is a clear violation of his fundamental right under Article 204 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, as well as Chapter 4 of the Nigerian Constitution. In addition to the rendition, I am asking the court to redress the myriad violations that came with the rendition, such as the torture, the unlawful detention and the denial of the right to fair hearing, which is required by law, before anybody can be expelled from one country to the other. I am also seeking to halt his prosecution and restore him to the status quo before he was renditioned on 19th June 2021. Daily Post reports that on 19th January 2022, the High Court of Abia State decided that portion of the violation of Kano's fundamental right that occurred in 2017. He added, even as I had made claims that bordered on rendition, the court declined jurisdiction on grounds that our rendition, being related to extradition, lies within the exclusive jurisdiction of the Federal High Court. This is what, this is what informed my decision to initiate the suit before the Federal High Court. To be sure, the extraordinary rendition of Unam de Kanu 
free guard myriad legal questions that cut across multiple jurisdictions in Nigeria and even free guard in international legal order to boot. In other words, the rendition has expanded the matter of Kanu far beyond the realms of the Labuja trial and opened up new legal frontiers that must be ventilated to the youth before other courts and tribunals within and without Nigerian. Thus, this very case before the Federal High Court, Umaya is one of such that is aimed at seeking a definitive judicial pronouncement on the constitutionality, constitutionality of the extraordinary rendition, the ones in the United Kingdom, Kenya, African Union and the United Nations are in addition. The demands a Jimako made on behalf of Kanu read below. A declaration that the arrest of the applicant in Kenya by the respondent agent without the process of law is arbitrary and the respondent enforced disappearance of the applicant for eight days and their refusal to produce the applicant before a Kenyan court for the purpose of applicant extradition is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right against arbitrary arrest to his personal liberty and to fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of CFRN and the Charter. A declaration that the detention of the applicant in a non-official secret facility in Kenya and the torture of the applicant in Kenya by the respondent agent is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right against un unlawful detention, torture and to fear hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of CFRN and the Charter. A Jimako reiterated that the, that the court should declare Kano's arrest in Kenya as illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of his fundamental right to fair hearing. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.